Are you wanting to use customer and subscription metrics directly in your Klaviyo account? With our latest integration at QPilot, your hosted service and team powering AutoShip Cloud, marketers finally have the most flexible subscription platform integrated with the most popular marketing automation platform. This is part one of QPilot's integration with Klaviyo, where we'll cover using customers and their subscription metrics from QPilot directly in Klaviyo. We'll create segments that combine subscription metrics with shopping cart events, and we'll wrap with some inspiration and show how you can offer subscribers a custom discount on their next upcoming subscription order. Let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the first things that you can do with our latest integration between QPilot and Klaviyo. It's really easy to connect your Klaviyo account to QPilot. Simply copy a private API key just for QPilot from Klaviyo into the private API key field in your apps page in QPilot, hit update, and connect your site. Within just a few minutes, QPilot metric data about your customers and their scheduled orders will be available on the customer profiles and inside of Klaviyo to use for your lists, segments, and campaigns. Let's take a look at one customer profile to see what kind of properties are available once you've connected Klaviyo to QPilot. From all products purchased on their subscription using scheduled orders to the average value of each processing cycle to when that customer was created, the total amount of products purchased on scheduled orders, the count by status of scheduled orders of acted, deleted, failed, paused, and more, there's a lot that you can do to segment your customers inside of Klaviyo and use them in your lists and campaigns. Now, let's use one of these custom properties to create our first segment using synchronized data between QPilot and Klaviyo. Let's use this metric, total scheduled orders lifetime value, to create a new segment in Klaviyo. So in Klaviyo, I'll open up my listen segment, create a new segment, and let's name this one subscribers over 5,000. And let's use properties about someone. And for the dimension, let's say total scheduled orders lifetime value. Let's use a value of is greater than and 5,000. Create. Excellent. Now that our segment is built, we can see that I have over 23 subscribers that have created over $5,000 in successful order processing for their scheduled orders on QPilot. I can scroll through and even pick a specific customer just to check that property and make sure that it truly fits the definition that I provided. We have total scheduled order lifetime value over 5,000. And that's why this customer is included in our segment. If we visit the segment again, over time, we'll be able to see in Klaviyo how this segment is growing because these properties are dynamically synced between QPilot and Klaviyo. So as more subscribers create more lifecycle value and cross this 5,000 threshold, our segment will grow by that count of customers. Now let's get a little bit more specific about what kind of segments we can create between the properties and metrics that our shopping cart provides combined with the subscription metrics that QPilot provides to Klaviyo. So let's create a segment named subscriber upsell shampoo discount. What we're going to do is we're going to try to target using properties from QPilot and properties from our shopping cart subscribers who have an active subscription, an active scheduled order on QPilot, but have never ordered shampoo either from the store or on their subscription. So let's say that for the properties about somebody that we're looking for active, so total scheduled orders active, and let's just say is greater than zero, right? So they have at least one active scheduled order that is running on QPilot. And then let's say that out of all products purchased, 
that none of those products contain the word shampoo. You can see there are like different combinations here, but all you need to say is it doesn't contain shampoo, basically, so that none of their products purchased contain that word. And next, let's combine a behavior from our shopping cart, what somebody has done or not done, and let's say ordered product zero times over all time and then filter that the category contains shampoo. So let's take a look at how we've set this up. Using QPilot properties of the total number of scheduled orders active being more than zero, and that out of all of their products purchased on those scheduled orders, none of them contain the word shampoo, and from our shopping cart that someone has ordered the product zero times over all time when the category is shampoo. Let's go and create that segment. And voila, we can see that our segment already contains 14 members. Let's go and click on one of these members to make sure that they really fit the criteria that we're looking for. An easy way to do that is just filter in the events the same definition that we added for our shopping cart. So ordered product, we can take a look through here and we don't see any events where they ordered shampoo. And then if we look at the synchronized QPilot property, you can see that out of all products purchased, it's only ever been this foundation from our store. So it's only ever been what they've purchased uh, from the shopping cart and it's only what they've ever purchased through their subscription program on QPilot. We did call this segment subscriber upsell shampoo discount. So here's a little inspiration about how you can create a flow that sends an email to this segment of customer with a coupon that will apply a discount on the customer's subscription order to any product that belongs to the shampoo category. In QPilot, let's create a coupon called 10% off new shampoo subscriptions. And let's give it a clever code, champ, champ 10. And what we'll do is we're gonna reduce the product by a percentage, right? And that percentage is gonna be 10 for 10%. For selecting a product, instead of choosing one product, we'll type in the name of a product group in this group we created before this coupon called shampoos. If you wanna see what that looks like, head over to the product groups for your connected QPilot site and take a look at which groups are available. You can see this one was created called shampoos and it contains all of my products that are shampoos in my store. If we go back to the coupon, what we can say is that we only want this to apply once meaning once this coupon is applied, it will apply its discount one time, and that will be the only time that it applies its discount. It won't continue to recur. We create that coupon, and now we can use this code in Klaviyo in our messaging to our customers. So let's create a new flow. And in our flow, we'll just create one from scratch. Again, we'll call this new shampoo subscriber upsell and our flow will use our segment so let's type in here we go subscriber upsell shampoo discount let's send them an email and then in your email you can call this anything you want but let's go ahead we'll just name ours uh, here's 10 percent off for adding any shampoo to your subscription. In our content, you can call this whatever we want, but we wanna make sure that we're using the code right inside of our email. So however you craft your email, we'll just do a really simple one. Hi, 
here is a coupon code that you can apply to your next subscription order when you add any of our shampoos to your upcoming subscription. And then we'll paste the code here. And that's it. Obviously, you can make your emails a lot fancier than I just did, but you get the idea. You can create your flows inside of Klaviyo using segments and combining that with offers that are powered by features within QPilot. I hope that inspires you to connect your site to Klaviyo, create your own dynamic segments using properties from QPilot and your shopping cart, and making incredible offers that enrich your subscribers, increase order value, and retention. Thank you.